Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's go back to the point. Goku was trapped in a time chamber, a place where time passes differently than it does in the real world. He had been imprisoned there because he was considered a threat. Since in many different realities a version of Goku caused destruction and chaos in transcendental emotions. However, Goku still didn't know it. Imprisoned Goku did the only thing he could do. He trained intensely, looking for a way to escape this prison. After months of training, Goku felt that he had reached a new level of power. He focused all of his ki and let it flow, pouring out all of his energy. He felt an incredible strength building within him, as if it was capable of destroying anything that stood in its way. Suddenly, the fabric of reality began to distort and tear around him, until it finally gave way completely. Goku was surprised and happy with the enormous power he had gained in such a short time, but his happiness didn't last long. When the fabric of reality breaks down, he finds himself in a completely different space. It was as if he had been transported to another dimension in a completely strange and unfamiliar place. He looked up and saw several time chambers capsules floating in space. When he tried to fly up, he felt that there was no place without a time chamber capsule. He was confused. He had never seen anything like this before, and he had no idea how he could escape this strange place. As he flew, looking for a way out, he felt that the time capsules were everywhere. He began to wonder how this was possible, how there could be so many capsules, and how the time chambers were contained within them. He tried to fly towards one of the capsules to see what was inside, but was stopped by an incredibly strong barrier that flew him backwards. Goku was surprised. He had never encountered such a strong barrier before. Even with all his powers, Goku couldn't destroy it. Every blow he landed was reflected back at him, making him feel the impact. He knew that something important must be inside that capsule, but he couldn't get there. Determined to find out what was sleeping there, Goku focused all his energy on trying to feel it. Goku focused all his energy on trying to feel if there was something inside the time chamber capsule. To his surprise, he felt key extremely similar to his own. He was confused for a moment, wondering if the barrier could have reflected his own presence back at him. However, before he could think about it further, he caught the presence of another being with a similar key to his own, hovering nearby. Goku was excited at the possibility of meeting someone. Following the person's presence, Goku wondered if this person would be able to help him or at least answer some of his questions. As he approached the mysterious figure, Goku shouted, Hey! You! Hey! The figure was on its back on top of a huge rock that was floating on that place. Upon hearing Goku, the figure turned around and surprised Goku. The mysterious man was the spitting image of Goku himself. The figure then says, Amazing. Looks like I'm not the only monster around here. Incredible. You're just like me. You're saying too, right? Asked Goku. Mysterious figure said, And who are you? How did you get here asking a bunch of questions? Say your name first, you weirdo. And who are you? How did you get here asking a bunch of questions? Say your name first, you weirdo. But yeah, I'm a Saiyan. And apparently you are one too, right? Goku was a little confused by the way the mysterious figure spoke. But he was excited to find someone who could help him understand what he was feeling. He then introduced himself. I'm Goku from Universe 7. And you? The mysterious figure looked at Goku with an intense gaze, as if sizing him up. Goku noticed that there was something different about this figure, something he couldn't explain. Then the figure replied, Your name is Goku. <laughs> I never met someone with that name. My name is Kakarot. Goku widened his eyes in surprise. Really? That's my second name too, he said, shaking his head. Interesting, you must have a great life story. Introduced Kakarot. With a smile on his face, Goku couldn't help but smile too. But his expression soon changed to a more heartfelt one as he remembered why he was there. Ah, Kakarot! I have something funny to say. I have no idea what's going on. Could you explain to me uh, what's happening? Asked Goku, sincerely confused by the situation he found himself in. Kakarot looked even more surprised. Hey, you don't know? Goku shook his head. I have no idea. Nobody told me anything. I was trapped in one of those capsules. No, I was trapped in one of those capsules. I don't know how else these capsules are like in the time chamber. Explained Goku, looking at Kakarot. Kakarot said, I see. So you'd know absolutely nothing. He said in a worried manner. In that case, the first thing you should know is that I am you and you are me from a parallel reality. 
A reality that is not separate by either time or space. It's a new dimension mirrored by another dimension mirrored by another dimension and so on. And that's how we all originated. Kakarot explained, glaring at Goku. Goku was stunned by Kakarot's explanation. It was hard to understand but he knew he had to trust them since he was the only clue he had as to what's going on. And the second thing? He asked, eager for more information. We are being haunted by several gods in different realities. At some point some Goku or Kakarot that is, whatever the name of this other version of us is, will be captured and imprisoned in a capsule with temporal rooms, said Kakarot. Said Kakarot, his expression becoming more serious. Goku was completely stunned by Kakarot's words. But at the same time he felt a strange animation inside him. He had never imagined that there would be so many gods behind him and his other versions. How is that even possible? Why are we even being hunted? Kakarot realized Goku's confusion and explained. Hmm. Several versions of us have already caused imaginable catastrophes. We were classified as a threat at the level of the Great Senosama. The gods decided to hunt us all down because worse than a god of destruction is a god of antimatter. Someone who can erase life like it's nothing. A version of us, they call that. Goku was shocked by the revelation, but he also felt a twinge of pride. So you mean our potential for evolution surpasses the gods and that's why they're afraid of us? Asked Goku. Exactly, replied Kakarot excitedly. And even now you still don't realize what you've done, do you? Asked Kakarot. Uh, I don't understand anything, what did I do? Kakarot looked at Goku in awe and said, You have great potential, my friend. Anyone who escapes the capsule is no longer the same. I, I still don't understand. You just escaped from a capsule that imprisoned you in a temporal chamber made to punish angels and even rebellious gods. At that moment you overcome a pseudo god of destruction. Maybe even clash with an angel, explained Kakarot. Goku looked at Kakarot in surprise. He couldn't believe he had so much power inside him. But then a feeling of dread began to build in his chest. If the gods were hunting them all down, that meant he wasn't safe anywhere. But hey my partner, what do you believe and what do you think about all of this? Will Goku overcome this situation? Will Beerus be able to save him? What can happen in the midst of all this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it in here so we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel and to hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.